getting back into YouTube and I'm starting off with this picture of this model and I'm going to completely Photoshop the entire background. I'm going to choose a color first. So I'm going to choose this like pinkish light sort of color that I'm going to change later on. And I'm just going to paint with a very hard paintbrush around the model's body with a large brush and then I'll go in with a smaller brush. And with the polygonal selection tool, I'm just going to make straight lines to create a triangle that I'm going to paint in with a different color. Simply go to image, then adjustments, then replace color to get to this little replace color box window that we have up that I'm just changing the hue of the selection. And right now it's at like a purplish color. The next step is to select the elliptical marquee tool and then select a paintbrush color, a blue color, and then you just simply create the circle with the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm going to use my paintbrush tool to outline that circle carefully with a very soft paintbrush tool. Then I'm going to add a stock photo of smoke over the model and change the blending mode to lighten. I'm going to adjust the smoke as needed, replace it where it looks best. And then I'm going to replace the color within the circle to like kind of an orange yellowish color. And you can see I'm just clicking that layer on and off. The next step is the fun part. So I'm going to select different brushes, paint brushes that you can download for free from the internet, from Brush Easy, many sites. So you basically download these brushes for free from the internet and then you could use these shapes which are amazing in your photos and it's already elements that are drawn in for you so you don't have to do the drawing you just select them and simply paste them onto the picture make sure to have a new layer as you do this so you can create your layer mask as I just did now to erase away at unwanted excess brush that we have on the image. Next I want to make the photo a little bit larger because I'm keeping Instagram in mind and I know that the file is going to be cropped already because it's a vertical photo. So I'm just extending the canvas and then painting in the white spaces because I know it's going to be cropped and then I'm adding in the logo for brass knuckles as this is a brass knuckles photo and ad I'm creating for them. And now it's time for my personal favorite part which is the color toning which I always do at the end in light room and with Cvotic presets. Now I'm bringing the image back into Photoshop where I'm adding a layer of color selective adjustment layers and then I'm going to add a dust filter over the photo to make the photo look like a film photo or just to add a certain classic aesthetic that I really like. This is the final image. This photo of the model is a stock photo that I paid for and I hope you guys like this tutorial and that I was able to teach you something. Once again here's the before and after. Um, feel free to leave me a comment or, you know, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, that sort of thing if you have any comments, suggestions, advice. And I look forward to chatting with you guys and I'll see you for the next video.